Uh, so hopefully you've picked out one of these and had a little go. So I'm going to run through them very quickly so that you can just check that you got everything. Um, there's probably a whole load of answers to this. So if you have got something different and you want to run it past me, just ping me an email. Um, so if you take an example of a freshwater pond ecosystem, so this would be a pond, I don't know if you've ever been to Baffin's Pond, for example. Uh, this sort of ecosystem would probably be quite typical. Um, they definitely have herons, I've seen them down at Baffin's Pond and they have ducks and they've got, they've got other things like swans and stuff but they'll have some of these um, aquatic things down there as well um, so hopefully it's something you can relate to a little bit so um, scenario one, climate warms by two degrees um, so if you warm the climate by two degrees then obviously you're warming the air by two degrees and you're also warming the water by two degrees now you probably don't know the impact that, that would have and so you're just guessing and that's absolutely fine um, but a lot of these um, fish and things down here are very much acclimatized to this climate if you warm it up it might be that say the great diving beetle doesn't like the water temperature anymore and perhaps dies out um, okay, we've lost a great diving beetle, um, but what's the knock-on effect of that when we talk about food webs? So perhaps the um, perch, for example, maybe the only insects they really ate were the great diving beetle, in which case perhaps the perch might die off in your ecosystem. Uh, if the perch die off, maybe the heron hasn't got enough food, so the heron will then go elsewhere. Um, if the heron goes elsewhere, then perhaps because there's no predators anymore, some of your fish species start to actually thrive and take over this ecosystem. They might then eat all the other living things like the water boatman and the dragonfly and the water fleas. And there actually might not be much in the way of food left, which might then mean that the fish start to die off in terms of numbers because they've exhausted their, their food supply. Um, so that could be one way in which the ecosystem is affected by a temperature increase. Uh, equally, uh, maybe the dragonfly's larvae doesn't, um, doesn't thrive in a, a warmer environment and perhaps, again, then the dragonflies uh, die out, which might mean the kingfisher doesn't have a source of food, um, which might mean the kingfisher moves elsewhere. Um, again, they're just a couple of examples of what um, climate warming might do. Uh, pond is open up to local fishermen, number two. Um, well obviously if you open up to local fishermen your fish species are going to be affected aren't they um, so perhaps they're after your perch um, they might not be fishing for stickleback because they're tiny um, but perhaps you're then um, your, your perch species are then depleted for example um, if your perch are then not there um, maybe your smaller fish uh, which your perch used to eat then start to increase in numbers because they have no predator anymore um, if they increase in numbers then perhaps your sort of insects start to go down in numbers because the the fish are eating more of them because there's more of the fish to eat them uh, again which might affect the entire ecosystem it might then be that your fish species get to a point where there's no food left and they start to die out um, so again that could affect your ecosystem quite badly and if you've got no fish again your bird species perhaps might look elsewhere because they have no source of food so again fishermen being in your pond area might have that impact and also as soon as we introduce people to environment we perhaps then start to open up other things like uh, littering um, we might then get fishing lines no. stuck uh, you to wait a minute darling you might then get fishing lines polluting the water. You might get litter dropped in the water. Um, so there, there's, that, there's that human element to it too. Um, perhaps their boats are polluting and might leak small amounts of diesel and petrol into the water, uh, which could kill off some of these species as well. Uh, number three, local farmers start using pesticides which leak chemicals into the ponds. So we mentioned um, leaching in the last little video I put up about the um, nutrient cycle. Um, so what that is, is when the rain falls on the soil, if it's got lots of nutrients in it, the rain takes the nutrients out and takes them into a pond or a river locally. Um, so this does often happen. Um, the, the bad thing about this um, is uh, pesticides are obviously meant, the whole purpose is to kill insects. So you may then kill off your water boatman and your diving beetle and your water nymph and your water fleas and perhaps things like your water worms and maggots too. Again, if you're taking out all of the insects, your fish have nothing to eat. Your fish have nothing to eat, they die, 
which means the things that prey on the fish then go elsewhere, so your kingfisher and your heron. Um, so again, that would have quite a dramatic effect on your ecosystem. Um, housing estate is built near the pond and children start littering in the pond. Um, yes, yeah, so this, is, this is one that we often get, sadly, in our waterways, um, is littering. Um, it depends what they're littering. Um, the, the, you know, the odd shopping trolley isn't going to particularly affect your ecosystem, but a large amount of um, litter in there could start to, perhaps if it was all floating on the top, it could stop the oxygen supply um, getting to... Bear with me two seconds. Sorry, back. So the yeah, if you have um, a layer that is then stopping the water, get it, uh, stopping the sunlight, sorry, getting to the bottom, um, that could stop um, production of oxygen which obviously your fish and your water system needs. Um, so littering could have that effect. Um, again, it very much depends what the litter is, but if it was, say, um, you know, the, the plastic rings that you get on top of beer cans, for example, not that young children should be drinking anyway, um, but those sorts of things can get trapped over the noses of fish and they can get stuck around ducks' feet. Um, so they could start to affect the wildlife that actually live in your pond system as well um so have all sorts of negative effects on the wildlife um hopefully that is a bit of a help anyway as i said any more questions or problems give me a shout individually